guys welcome back to another play for the soul video and again we are here with the chevy aveo and i have another video and what we're gonna do is install dual horns just so the horns can be louder so currently there's just one horn on here so i'm gonna let you guys hear how that sounds if you haven't yet subscribe to the channel and give the video a like uh, now or later whether you like this content or not and also leave a comment down below tell me what you guys think at the end of this video so this is what we are going to do i'm going to honk the horn and show you guys how it currently sounds with the stock horn so guys sound check one i'll honk the horn probably two three times this oem horn To get to the horn what you're gonna have to you have to remove this grill right here and what you do there's two phillips head screwdrivers i mean screws and you need a phillips head screwdriver there's one here one here and one right in the middle and these are clips and they have phillips heads on them as well so you loosen those two of them and you pop those out and then this lifts right up and now the horn is this thing right here uh, this is my automatic transmission cooler. It's separated from the actual radiator to separate fluids just in case the radiator bus ever or overheats. But um, here's the original horn. And uh, these I put in here earlier. So plan is I'm going to mount these uh, new horns, which I have. Over here, here are the original screws for that grill, and then these horns right here, uh, got them from eBay, and they're, it's a dual horn setup, and they're red, so there you go. So we'll be mounting these, I'm going to mount these on first. I'll show you guys good mounting points and here's the relay but um i have my own relays for this so i'll hook it up turn away there's no instructions so i'm gonna go off the diagram i found on the internet but my plan is is to mount these horns on each side like that and then probably put the relay on this, but I gotta find a nut for that. So, yeah, there's a few locations. I can even put the relay right there too, if I want it. So we'll check that out. I'm gonna mount these, and then I'll get right back to you. So for reference guys, uh, these screws right here, they're uh, M10 1.25 pitch screws and they mount to the frame this actual frame bracket here the OEM hole so and this this is just a connection and we're gonna probably cut this connect That's how it looks in there, and that's going to be the plan. Now I just got to wire it all together, but the mounting spots on this car, they're already there, so it's pretty cool. And we'll test fit this. Fits right here. guys. Uh, now to get all your wiring going, uh, you're going to need a, new, a few tools first, soldering iron, 
electrical type, uh, like one of these inline fuse holders. Put the fuse inside. Uh, probably put like a 15 amp fuse in here, not sure. Uh, you need a 30 to what? 40 amp wire harness. I already got this set up. I don't know how that happened, but this is ready. So I don't have to even mess with this. Um, what else? Crimper. These are the quick, quick crimpers. Oh, not crimp. Well, they, they crimp and then they, uh, strip wires for you. Need a roll of a wire. This is, um, 10 gauge wire. I'm not even going to color code because what I do is I usually put like red tape on the positive wire. Uh, some heat shrink. This is from Harbor Freight. And uh, terminal assortments. Also from Harbor Freight. So, I'm going to get down and show you guys how to do this. But if you guys get like a, a relay like this, make sure you get one of the ones with like how this is set up. Where it's a, a plug replacement type just in case this goes bad. You just plug a new one back into this and it should work for you. So, yeah, that's how it goes. I'm going to go buy this diagram. So initially, this uh, dual horn diagram that I found through Google, and it didn't work for my application in the 2008 Chevy Aveo 5, and you'll find out why later in this video. So this was definitely a lesson for me, uh, and I learned as I go, so absolutely do not use this diagram on the Aveo. As a result, I ended up altering this diagram for my application in the 2008 Chevy Aveo 5 to show you guys viewing for reference sake on how to connect a dual horn setup in the Aveo. So what I ended up having to do after I installed everything going by the first initial diagram was that uh, I had to daisy chain the positive sides of the horn uh, together and connect them to just the 87 pin on the relay. Uh, there's no need to use 87A uh, and you'll know why later in the video why you don't need to connect uh, the horn separate one of the horns separately to 87A. Also uh, of course you're gonna have to ground both horns to the chassis and I'm not sure if it's necessary, but uh, this is what I did. I daisy chained the negative sides of both horns together as well. Uh, also, uh, the original horn wire positive end uh, would connect to 86, uh, pin 86, and then the uh, other uh, uh, wire from the factory horn. Uh, harness or connector will go to 85 and uh, pin 30 you connect a, a line all the way to the battery's positive end and also you're gonna want an inline fuse in between there and it will be a 10 amp fuse for the Chevy Aveo because that's what the factory uh, amperage uh, fuse is for the uh, original horn. So what's up you guys? I'm back on day two. Um, <clears throat> I put my harness together. I still have to put connectors on this but if you look at the original plug <clears throat> to the horn I just checked it on my multimeter but uh, the constant 12 volt is the orange wire. So that's that. And then here is the ground wire. I'm just going to uh, ground this wire. I insulated it just because when I attached it, it was hitting the condenser. So I was, um, I just want to protect the wire from uh, whatever, from getting too hot or cold, whatever it may be in that area. And it's going to wrap and mount 
and ground itself to the body like this. I don't know if you can see that. And uh, so on the original plug, I've been trying to just pop the clips out, but I'm gonna end up probably just cutting soldering these connectors right here. And then uh, once I solder those connectors, I have to um, um, make two wires that go from the relay to these so oh and I still gotta throw a connector in to the battery because I'm supplying 12 volts to these horns because original horn um, it won't supply enough current onto the dual horn since we got two two horns now so we gotta supply some extra power uh, I messed up one time uh, installing a Wolo horn. The instructions said that it will just be plug and play, but I had to install a relay and supply 12 volts. Otherwise, I couldn't, uh, before uh, actually doing it correctly, when I was uh, honking the horn on my 300ZX, it would only, I'd only be able to press the horn for like two seconds until a fuse popped. So, once you supply enough current, always uh, it should be okay. But always um, install a relay to your uh, aftermarket horns that you're installing. So I'm going to install these and then start getting everything connected and then I'll get right to it. So, what's up you guys? I finally got this, my new connectors on. So the red one is the orange wire which is a constant 12 volt. I checked it, tested it with the battery on, and uh, it's still, it's a good connection. So uh, now I'm gonna start installing that and getting the horns on and start testing out the connections. So, so what's up you guys, um, I think I got this correct. I have to wait on someone just to let me know that both horns are working. However, I had to rewire it and I couldn't go by the um, actual the actual schematics that I found on the internet because I tried to wire if you look at this relay I tried to wire each horn one on 87A uh, on the relay pin and one on 87 on the relay pin and uh, 87A gave constant 12 volt power to this especially when I grounded it uh, so that didn't work so what I had to do I made a, a T or a Y a wire and basically I'm um, sharing 87 with both um, horns connected to each other basically daisy chained them and also you have to ground them to each other as well so that's what I did right there um, and boom. So um, I'm gonna start uh, throwing jackets on all this and tucking everything in so it looks uh, really clean and doesn't look like a wiring mess. So I'll see you guys. I'll show you guys the finished product and we'll do a sound comparison on the new horns uh, uh, compared to the old single horn. But so far they look good with the red horns. And, uh, oops, see you on the next clip. So what's up, you guys? Um, finally finished, uh, tucking all my wires and making everything look, uh, nicer, more professional. Um, so, I mounted the relay right here, and it's shrink-wrapped because I don't want no weathering and um all this is protected the only tip i have for you guys is to make your wires and your connections probably try to match them to the exact length you need because mine are like i got them going in there touching the condenser if you could see in there but i even have it tucked up under here and it's like wrapping around and you know, looping, but I routed my 
uh, 12 volt power cable to the battery right here and it goes right in between the headlight and here's the uh, fuse so if I ever need to get it it's right there or replace it so that's it and it looks pretty good I'm gonna put the grill on and I'm gonna test if this uh, hood uh, closes because I had this uh, on top of here and the hood was closing on it. You can see a little dent right there. I don't want to ruin that. So it's like a dent in this hood cover. I don't want it grounding out either. That'll be bad, but I got all this heat shrink covering a lot of the stuff, but I decided to put it on the bottom bolt. But yeah, that's how it looks if you were to do it. Um, yeah, it's all tucked. But, yeah, I'll uh, get the grill on, then we'll do a sound test. Hey guys, I got the grill on. As you can see, that's how it looks. You can't really see them. Some people, I think, would even put them down there, but I think those were perfect spots. So, do a sound test. And I'll show you guys the difference from the original horn and these ones. Thank you guys for watching. I'm making it to the end of the video. Uh, if this video helped out, um, give this video a like, subscribe to the channel for more uh, future Aveo videos or car related vi videos uh, in the future. Uh, so, subscribe to the channel. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. Also, follow me on all my social media. Um, all the links are throughout the video also down below in the description and also if uh, if you like uh, cool vintage retro gear visit another retro thing .com for all your vintage needs and you guys this is the Flavor Footer Soul channel I'm Mike I'm out holla peace